Hey, what is going on, everybody? I just wanted to uh, pull the chart up real quick and show you what I am seeing. Um, and for everybody who watched my last video, I really appreciate it. Uh, it got like 50 something views the last time I looked, which is probably uh, 45 more than I expected. Uh, and I got some comments from people that uh, don't know me. So everyone who knows me, thank you so much for supporting me. and. Uh, those who don't know me, uh, I really appreciate your support as well. Um, you know, so far, uh, it's really fun making these videos. But I quickly wanted to hop on here because I'm seeing something, and I know everybody's panicking right now. Uh, currently, we, we, so I'm doing it again. Uh, Bitcoin is dropping, and it seems to be holding that, you know, right around 37.7. Um, I actually was talking back and forth with someone on my Facebook page, and I said it's probably going to hold 37.8. Um, I'm giving myself a bonus point for that because it's holding uh, very, very close to that. Um, so if you watched my last video, you know that I really enjoy these purple lines between um, this year and the previous uh, bull run showing that's when the Bitcoin dominance started to uh, fall down. Um, and then I copied this part. Uh, I recopied it again. This is from 2017, and I'll just walk you through just to show you how I got there. So I'm not just uh, making these things up. Um, I noticed, I think on the daily, it doesn't go back that far. So, or the four hourly, excuse me. Um, so I'm going to copy these bars from that purple line to where we, uh, to where the bull run ended. Again, this purple line and this purple line match on the Bitcoin dominance. That's when, if you look at the Bitcoin uh, dominance chart, it kind of goes like this, blah, 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 up, and then it comes down. So I drew these purple lines. This was 2017, and then this is where we are now, and they match uh, basically identically, um, which I just find super fascinating, and also nobody is talking about it, which is surprising. Um, I don't know why I cannot delete these lines. Oh, that's why. Okay, cool. So, um, yeah, so these match up in that Bitcoin dominance chart. The dates almost match up, which I find really interesting too, May 15th-ish, May 22nd-ish. Um, so what I like to do is, if you zoom in on this, and I just kind of want to show you where and how I'm getting this. Uh, see this purple line? So, in 2017, it was this big run-up um, hit this peak and then came down, up, down, 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 and blah, 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 which, um, you know, that graph looks fairly similar to what happened when it had that big crash. So that purple line is really just what I want to point out. Um, so if we go to 2020, and also I have my chart uh, on uh, this option just because it's easier to see the charts and compare them percentage-wise rather than price-wise because, as you know, the price is crazy, but the percentages are basically uh, spot on. So what I want to show you is I copied this from the daily chart, and the daily chart, uh, it's not as hard, not as easy to see. So if we go to the four-hour chart, and it's really just about these, you know, as, as they keep saying, as, as everybody says, you know, history doesn't repeat itself, but it rhymes. And I think we can definitely find that rhythm uh, right now. So again, this is that purple line that I copied the bars from. So I'm gonna line that up uh, right there. And so this spike, fairly similar. And of course in 2017, it was going up, it was going up, it was going up, and then it started to come down. But I just wanted to line up those purple lines and kind of make show some similarities at least. Um, so I'm gonna get this little brush tool. Uh, so you can see it was this drop and then it was this uh, high and then drop and then a lower high and then a drop and then this another lower high and then it came all the way down here and then we set this higher high and it came down and then it said uh, I mean looks about the same and then it, it kind of climbed up and kept going and I mean look at these charts and I know you're comparing the daily I'm comparing the daily chart versus the four hour but I think this is kind of like goes back to that saying where history might not repeat itself but it's definitely going to rhyme um, or again, we're having this drop, we're having this peak, and having this peak right here, and then we're having this drop down, and I'm just kind of, I'm kind of going by averages to make this uh, a little bit, uh, just how I'm visualizing it. So we've got this drop, which is uh, a lower, or excuse me, a higher high, a higher low, which is what we see here, and then we have this, which drop, which matches that, and then we have this uh, lower high, which is our lower high right here. Um, 
and then we go into this you know really big drop which is very close to this first drop that we had uh, let's see okay so this looks like if you line it up I'm not sure if this includes the wicks or not um, you know which would be interesting because if it didn't include the wicks the, ac the actual bar is there and I can't really see where because I drew but let's just say it's somewhere around there so not super identical but um, you know you've got this drop this drop I would say that they line up pretty well and then we have this higher high right here which is compared to this higher high right here um, I guess technically that's not a higher high but we definitely have a higher high right here so I think I think this is where we are right now if I had to put my money on it that's where we are right now where uh, you know maybe you could draw the line this way where you have a little bit of a, uh, a drop um, but overall you have this higher high compared to this uh, lower high and that's kind of what we're seeing um, in that 2017 chart Again, it's not a perfect matchup, and you can argue that, oh, it's identical. You could also argue that uh, this is totally different, and none of this is the same, and we're uh, crashing hardcore, and we're going to burn. <laughs> um, but I just think, uh, just from what other people have been saying, and just from what I'm seeing in the chart, uh, I think it really is just a perfect match compared to uh, what's happened in the past. And unfortunately... That dominance chart doesn't go back to 2014, so I can't really compare um, that purple line that I like, uh, that I keep referencing um, right here of where the dominance dropped. Uh, but let's just see. I haven't done this, so let's just see what this looks like. Again, I really like doing these one takes, even though I listen to myself on the playback, and uh, I wish I could change a couple things, but you know what? It is what it is. Um, and I just want to point out, you see these lines... Just look how evenly spaced they are. And I don't have that dominance chart, but if you had to eyeball it, I would say, um, let's see, where are those vertical lines? Uh, okay, right here. You know, if you had to eyeball it, and I'm not even, I'm trying to avoid looking at that peak. Actually, let's just go off. See this, how it kind of lines up with that line, and this is close here, and then that's like on it right there. So honestly, it would probably be right about there. Um, I'll just change that to purple just to kind of give uh, more similarities. Um, but what I like doing with this is kind of copying, again, where we had that big run up and then the drop and then up. Uh, so let's just see what that looks like. And again, anybody can make any chart look the same or totally different. So that's why I think it's really crucial for everyone. Uh, I'm going to move that instead of delete that. That's why I think it's crucial just for everybody to... Um, do this on their own and kind of play with it but i just wanted this to be uh, brought to the table because again i really just feel like nobody is talking about this stuff which uh, is just silly to me um, lesson learned don't draw a million of these lines because it's really messy and takes forever to delete but anyway um, again let's go down to four hours and let's hope that the charts aren't too too crazy let's see what we're seeing here Okay, cool. Um, so yeah, this, this big run up, which you go from the top, um, which is kind of, my theory is lining this top up with kind of like where the peak has been up here. And if you saw my last video, you know that this puts uh, Bitcoin right around that 300 um, price point. I think uh, both charts actually show a little bit over 300. I think anywhere from 288 to like probably 350 or so is realistic, even like almost up to 400. But um Either way, that's why I think 300 is super realistic. So yeah, you've got this peak, you've got this drop, comes down, you've got this lower high compared to here, you've got this drop, which seems very similar. You know, I would say that this matches this. You could probably argue that these two match these two. Um, I mean, even this drop here and then this drop here. Um, which would tell me that this peak is this peak, and then this kind of boring section, I say, where we actually, where it actually does make upward uh, movement, is right about here. And maybe this, honestly, maybe this candle is what we're getting today. Um, who knows? I just think that these similarities are just so similar, and I really, really think that uh, we're really gearing up 
for Bitcoin to start slowly making its way up. And I think everyone's going to get confidence in that. And the altcoins are uh, going to start to explode again. Something interesting, too, is most of these altcoins don't have their all-time highs until after uh, Bitcoin has has its peak. So let's just, again, I'm just going to just... I'm just ballparking. You know, I really think that the end of November, I don't know why you can't see that date. End of November, maybe because I'm on the four heart, but this shows up as November 29th. I really do think that you could argue that's probably when it is going to end. Um, so let's just, let's just say we line these up, which again, if you saw my last video, you match this high with this high, and then you match uh, it's kind of the valley, if you will, uh, or these two valleys because either way, I'm just going kind of off of averages, give or take, it's right around there. So let's just say, for argument's sake, November 29th. Uh, typically there's another month of alts, uh, yeah, the altcoins to really hit their highs, which I don't know, people are super um, kind of hit or miss black and white on XRP, but with that whole SEC lawsuit and everything being extended, uh, they're saying that it's not going to be resolved until the very end of 2020 or the beginning of, uh, excuse me, I said 2020, I meant 2021. So either the end of 2021 or uh, the beginning of 2022 uh, in January, which would give us about that month where previously, if you look at Bitcoin compared to XRP, it was about a month uh, after Bitcoin hit its all-time high where XRP hit its all-time high which really just lines up perfectly to all these charts. And it's just amazing that it seems like all of these signs are uh, signaling the same exact number. Um, so I, I'm, I'm telling you, I really, really feel confident that the very end of November is when we're gonna hit that all time high. And I think the very end of uh, probably mid December is when most of the uh, altcoins hit their all time highs, probably like a week or so after Bitcoin really starts to come down, which I'm sure at the moment everyone's going to think it's a small correction, but it's it really is going to be that downward momentum. Um, but yeah, I think XRP is probably going to be the last one because if you look historically, it is the last one to hit its all-time high. And then once that comes down, we're officially in the bear market across the board. Um, so really just putting XRP, uh, let's just call it the 1st of January, that really gives us um, us, again, I keep doing that, uh, it really gives all of these uh, altcoins that final, you know, one to four weeks of hitting their all-time highs. So I, I really think it's lining up. I wanted to make this video quick and just touch on, um, again, if you enjoy these videos, I would love it if you liked these. Uh, again, the feedback from the last video was really, really great and it's encouraging. Um, and it's fun having conversations uh, in the chat and also just uh, messaging people and stuff like that. So if you could just take a second, like it, comment, you know, what your thoughts are, if you agree, if you disagree, if you like um, what I'm saying in the charts, uh, that would be awesome. I hope you all have a great day and uh, we all feel confident that it's going up. And as always, it's not financial advice. It's just uh, showing you what I'm seeing in the charts. And I think we should all feel really good. And uh, in a few months, we're just going to laugh at this little, uh, like I say, pause in the market um, and not even remember it. But uh, I hope you all have a great day and uh, enjoy. Take care. Bye.